Do you also wish that Hogwarts Legacy was much, much bigger and that you could explore even more of the world? Well, I'm here to help. So what you want to do first is do the broom surf glitch, which if you want, I can make a separate tutorial for. Then we're going to ground ourselves and actually get on another broom, because one broom is simply not enough. What this will do is make us clip into the ground, which you will see in a moment. But first, we're going to make our way around the castle into this courtyard and from there into the castle. As you can see, when we land, we kind of clip into the ground. Now what we want to do is head into the castle, head to the right and down these stairs. When you get to the bottom of the stairs, head right, then left, into the bathroom. In the bathroom, go into one of the stalls, go up against the toilet and then roll a few times. This should make you clip into the wall. Pay attention to the minimap to know when you've got it. Once out of bounds, simply jump off and you will be falling into the void. Luckily, you can equip the broom while falling. Now you are out of bounds, on your broom and ready for adventure. Open up the map and simply head to the border of the map to go completely off the grid. This method using the toilets to go out of bounds is a very reliable one that you could replicate whenever you'd like. But I know for a fact there are plenty of other ways to also get out of bounds. You simply just have to find them. After flying for a little while, you'll notice that the edge of the map will appear on the minimap. But that doesn't stop you, you just keep on going because you've got places to be and adventures to have. Make sure to fly a little further into the unknown and then just ascend. Once you've made it back to the surface, it's usually not a big problem to clip out again, so enjoy your freedom. Now if we open our map again, we can clearly see that we are indeed out of the game's normal boundaries. If you do try this yourself, make sure to actually go to the top of this cliff to really take in the beauty of this game. Even though I was just goofing around, seeing Hogwarts appear over the cliff like that actually gave me just a few goosebumps. Now, once you're done watching the beautiful, beautiful scenery and you want to head back to the real world, you can of course use the flu network. But if for some reason you're a bit of a purist and want to make your way back on your own, you'll have to work a little bit harder for it. Because even though we are in a part of the map that the developers didn't never intend us to go to, we can't just clip back into the ground. That would be too easy. So instead, we have to go further away and try and find one of the small, small gaps in the geometry that the developers left there, like this little rift. Here you simply fly through and you're back out of bounds and can go back into the real world. <laughs> 